Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Tony Sandoval. Tony Sandoval Handyman Services. I am a professional handyman. I do this for a living. And we're going to get back to trying to do these videos again in, in a way that's useful for you guys. So we're going to try and do today a review of the Works Nitro Nail Force 18 gauge uh, brad nailer and uh, crown stapler. That's what we're shooting for today. I want to know I really appreciate you guys with your comments, your constructive criticism, your positive support. I, I do read those things, and I'm trying to take that in consideration. Hopefully, I'll give you a little something closer to what you've been looking to see in on the reviews and things like that today, and uh, we'll, 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 we'll get going from there. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about the pros and the cons of this tool and tell you how it all comes together. So, the Works Nitro brand, type of brand, is geared towards professionals. That's who they say they're targeting, all right? They mean people not in manufacturing or production, and they don't necessarily mean tradespeople, people who are on construction, new building, remodeling, where you're taking all kinds of stuff all over the place, you know, for multiple hours at a time. These are for people like me, registered handyman or professional handyman, uh, registered contractor, you know, insured. I'm, I'm, I have the same professional concerns as your tradespeople. I'm just not doing things the same amounts, the same type exact work. I'm a fixture. I repair. I install. And so your other professionals, installers, and people who are very specific what they do are looking for tools that are not the high end but are not very low end either. You know, they you use them more than twice and they break and you need to buy a new one. Not for those people. Crafts, handy people. are going to use them just, you know, a couple times a week or a month. This is a little more out of their league just because of cost, because of the kind of work they're doing, what they use it for. Uh, not that they can't use it, but not likely. So that's who this is for. What is it exactly? Well, when I have to do trim or molding around doors and windows, when I have to put up uh, uh, certain types of screening effects, like under decks or porches, things like that, uh, smaller fixes and repairs on things that don't need great big nails and whatnot, more than glue, that's that middle ground there. So that's who it's for and what we do with it. That's what it does. We need to be able to do nails, brad nails like these, very small fin gauge, 18 gauge with little tiny T heads on there, not big, big, big nails, but also staples. These are crown staples because we're putting a lot of things together like backings on furniture and things like that. So we need to have something, and this does both. That's where we're using this. And, and hopefully as we get through the pros and cons, we'll see how it does that, how well it does those things. Okay, so pros, things that I like about this tool, okay? Right off the bat, I like that I do not have to have hose and extension cord and compressor and all of the things that make it harder to go from one end to another, like from a floor to the top of a door, and I'm dragging a cord and a hose and knocking the darn compressor over. I love not having to do that. The portability of this thing, usability in, in terms of that way, is fantastic. It has already changed how I do that work, and I love that, okay? Another thing I really like is the depth setting, okay? One of the features is the depth setting. I like the degree of control that it has. I've worked with other guns where the depth setting, you don't really tell a lot of difference, but on this one here, this depth setting, you turn it this way for keep it up above the surface, more towards flush, and then all the way that way to uh, uh, sink it or countersink it way down below. And that allows you, so on projects that you don't want to have a nail hole showing, you can putty that up, wood putty or something like that, sand it down, paint the whole thing over. Nobody even knows a nail is there. And that's really well done. This setting, I, I, I think that's one of the big pros on this gun is that that is very versatile. It's very, it shows a lot of effect. Um, I like on here, there is a little light 
and it tells you right here if it's what's going wrong so if it's jammed if it's overheated if the battery's low so if you're having a malfunction or something not working quite right this light will tell you whether it's red or green blinking or solid instead of having to guess and a lot of the other tools battery operating tools have been they make you guess and you're sitting there trying to figure out what's wrong with the damn thing and it's, it gives it to you right here it gives you at least somewhere to start rather than you know just going through everything and i like that i've worked with tools where i've had to guess and it just eats up time when i'm trying to get a job done i like the fact that it does because it's a nitro tool it uses the pro level of their works batteries rather than it can also use the regular works batteries uh but power share batteries uh but on this like They'll, they'll ship it to you when they do send it if you buy it with a battery. I already have a bunch of these, so no big deal. Uh, but this is a 4 amp hour. I'll use a 4 amp hour or a 5 amp hour. I will never use a 2 amp hour because you don't get the power. You don't get the longevity of using the tool. But this here, you put that on there, you have both the power and for you know a good long run. And I like that. It works so well together. It pairs again that they designed it that way. But every time I get the Pro battery mixed with the, the the Nitro tool, it just really shows me how much more I get out of that tool rather than by using one of the regular batteries. Another pro I like about it is the versatility in uh, using what kind of nails and in 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 staples in here. So. It's got a lot of versatility in size. I can use a nice big, almost two inch long brad in here. Just line it up to the little uh, lines in here. It'll hang on those. Goes through the groove up front. Compression slides in. Bang. Okay. That's nice. But I also, all these little levers here, levels you see, all of these little lines here, that's for different heights, different lengths of sizes of nails. Uh, and it helps keep them in place. So that's a beautiful thing, the versatility and how many you get to use. That's that, that to me is one of the, I mean, a lot of tools have multiple, use multiple sizes. Some of them allow for less variation. Some allow for the same or even more. But this is just about right for every kind I would use. So again, a big plus there. Uh, and the last one is this switch here. That allows you to go from single, hold the trigger, boom, boom, boom for each one. You can switch it though, and you get rapid. So which means you sit there and you just hold the trigger and you can do a long run at short spacing. Man, I'll tell you what, that saves you from lots of trigger pulls. Big time fun, okay? Love that efficiency in that tool. Those are some of the best things. And then of course you got the little light. See the light? I love the placement and the power of that light, if I'm working in a low, dim area, closet, a hallway, something like that, really lets me see where I'm working at. So, again, lots of good things about this tool that in a pro, in a job site setting, has really worked well for me. I love the things that they did. They did very well. Okay, so now what don't I like is, number one, I, I, I said that I like that the portability, I can go from low to high and not drag a cord around. The problem with that being the compressor is built into the tool. This is not a light tool. <laughs> you will get a, 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 a lot of wear. You, you will feel the exhaustion in, the, in your, your, your wrist, in your forearm, even in your shoulder if you try to use this for a long period of time because it is not light, okay? It, you're going down and up and front and back and it's this here by a lot of metal in this tool that's a good thing but the bad thing is a lot of metal in this tool it's heavy especially when you talk about you're adding the big chunky battery because it gives you all that great durability longevity right i can work for a long time but it makes it heavier it's well balanced i'll give it that but trust me this is not something you want to do fabrication or production with or even like if you're like a car, trim carpenter and working all day just doing nothing but putting up molding and trim and stuff like that where you're having to hold this thing for like several hours at a run. No, not, not the tool for that. Uh, this is definitely for spot work, small, mid-sized projects, 
where you, the hour, uh, an hour at the most is really all you want. Again, the exhaustion is, is the fatigue in your arm, wrist, uh, fingers even. Another thing, the light. I said I like the light. It's really good light. But see this trigger right here? This annoys me. Why this little trigger? My big old mitt, and probably anybody else's, is going to wrap around here while I'm pulling the trigger, and I'm going to hit that anyway. So I'm getting the light whether I want it or not. Why pretend? Just put it on automatic trigger and let it do what every other drill and whatever it does. We don't need this. This, I think, was completely unnecessary. It's, I don't know what they were thinking about that. Next thing I'm not thrilled about is here's the switch for single fire all the way to the left. You can get rapid fire, like I mentioned earlier, pushing this to the right. That only works with the brad nails, though. It doesn't work with staples. The staples only works single fire. Pull one trigger pull at a time. You can't rapid fire and just hold the trigger and go down. I don't know why. I'm not sure, you know, whatever, but I know there's been a few situations where I'd like to be able, like if you're doing a poster or something like that, and you're using crown staples, you're going to want rapid fire. This may not be the tool you want, but then again, if you're doing upholstery, especially on any any kind of regular basis, this you're, you're going to want to use a regular air-powered comp compressed uh, gun anyway. Seriously, this is not. This is a very small project, like fixing. Oh, look, I've got a few a chair where I just need to do one side of the chair. You know, fix that. That. Other than that. You're not getting rapid fire. It's all one at a time. So I'm not thrilled with that, but it's not a killer either. Again, it's it's spot work and project work, you know, mid-size, small-size project. So if I got it one at a time for that many, I guess I got it. Those are the main things that I'm not thrilled with, though. Also, it's a little odd. It's not bad, but to open this up, usually the button is on the back or on this side so you can see it as you open it up. But people will get confused. It throws because it's on the back side. Pull the clip, and then you open it up. Okay? Once you get used to it, it's not a big deal. But if you're not looking for it there, you're used to it being somewhere right here where you open it at, it's going to throw you off a little bit. It's on the back. So it's just one of them things, you know. Is it a, ki a deal killer? Again, no. Not a deal killer. But it's, you know, I'm going to be honest. It's something that I'm not thrilled about either. So... That, in a nutshell, that's the cons. So, how does this all come together? If I have to give a rating, I, I, I tend to be the guy that does five-star ratings, you know. Uh, sometimes ten-star is actually a little better, more descriptive. But on a five-star, I give this four out of five. I really do. Even with the, pro, the, the, the cons that I was talking about, which, to add one more con, there's not a... Uh, a, a stop a trigger safety you know to so you can't pull the trigger that's the only thing i don't like about that trigger other than that trigger handles well but the con no 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 trigger lock anyway even with the cons i still give this a four out of five which means i give it eight out of ten if you were to go that way maybe even you know i feel pretty solid about that and the reason is because i'm using it in a work situation if you're using it in other things, you might say, well, this works less handy for me. There's more of a con than a pro to you. But in my situation, because, I mean, the versatility alone, I mean, on the 8 out of 10, but fully four of those is just in the fact that I can have the diversity go from here to there to here and back over here, all without a cord and a hose and having all the mess and knocking over things and bumping into stuff, having it yanked back and, you know, affect your shot. None of that is there. This is beautiful, easily, four out of the eight of, of the those points there. The rest, though, again, I like that I can. When I can use the multi-shots, uh, that is so handy. The effect, the, the depth gauge, I swear to God, that's probably two of them out of the 10, out of the 8 of 10 right there because I have to sometimes, like I said, I'll go from a countersink to a flush. Sometimes, you know, I rarely, very rarely do I have to worry about leaving it up above, but 
more often than not, I either want it flush for a particular reason or I want it countersunk so I can put a little putty over that and paint over it as it looks clean. Might need a flush. And I have the versatility. That right there, totally two stars. Uh, the lighting, again, that helps so much when you're working in dark corners in a hallway, inside of a closet. I mean, just you can never have enough light sometimes. So definitely four out of five, eight out of ten. As a professional handyman who uses this on work sites, job site projects, no problem at all there. Um, durability, longevity. Well, I got this thing a few weeks ago. Is it going to last as long as I really, you know, more than a year? Every Works Nitro tool so far that I've had, I've had some Works Nitro tools for about five years now, as long as five, six years. And I'm here to tell you, the original one I bought is still working just as well as the one I first bought. I have not had one Works Nitro tool go bad on me yet. So, take that for what it is. You know, but I think a lot of times when I know when I go looking for a review on a tool and I want to know how well does this work? How well does this do? You know, uh, it, it, it's not loud. It's not too loud. I mean, any, any air power tool is going to be loud, but it's really not an ear killer. You know, uh, it, 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 it gets into all the material, into thickness that you, you know, whether you're going into something that's a really thick backer or if it's a really thin backer, the variety, again, in the sizes you're able to use, you can pick and choose. Uh, that's so nice, you know, because sometimes you'll have just a surface thing that you're trying to get and it doesn't need to be a long thing. Or sometimes you've got to, you know, get it down into, you know, you're taking a one by and putting it against into a, a two by four stud, you know, and you need to have the length of, of a of nail or whatever to be able to make that stick and stain. This has the power to do that repeatedly. So again, I have not been let down by this. So I'm hoping everything goes, and I'm hoping you find it if you decide to get one. Hope you find it as useful as I have. All right, that's what I got to give you today, and I hope you like it. And feel free to add questions in the comments, please. Constructive criticism if you're going to have to you know point things out where i didn't get it great you know let's not you don't have to be a jerk about it let's all play nice in the comments and i'll try to get back to everybody as uh, as you have questions or something to bring it see you later